Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Hisuian Quillfish here in the Hisuian Cup. So we're going to be pairing it up with Gastrodom and Magmortar. Very interesting. I did have this thing lying in wait just ready to go. It does have its community day move Thunderbolt on the Magmortar. Will it come in handy? We'll have to see here. Going up against that Toxic Croak Fire Spin is going to do it a decent amount of damage. Now let's talk about the Hisuian Quillfish. It's going to be Poison and Dark. And it was amazing. It wasn't like it was a surprise, okay? So I just had to get comfortable with it. I kind of forgot that it had that dark typing a couple of times here. But uh, yeah, we're just going to see some quick battles here because I got another one lined up for you. And make sure you do have notifications on and also hit that like button if you do like these constant videos. And let's go ahead and see what we have going on. Gastrodon taking out the Empoleon. And we got a Garchomp in the back. So yep, this is basically the Sinnoh Cup here. So what do we do? Let this go? Yeah, Gastrodon did what it needed to do, hitting me with a sand tube. We survive and we actually get to the body slam as well, which is appreciated. Thank you, Gastrodon. This thing comes in handy. And with these two types in the back, we were just pulling out some comfortable leads time and time again. So poison is not going to be very effective to that ground type, but it's going to be enough for us to take them down here. Not very much action for the Hisui and Quillfish in that first battle, but let's see what it can do in the next one. And we do have it in the back. Met with an Empoleon, and this is going to be great with the ground super effective to that steel they swap into their frost last and here we go this is why i do have the mech mortar i was looking for a good fire type I'm, i wasn't trying to make an xl growlithe quite yet right that's a lot of starters this starts to really add up here all right so it looks like we're gonna fire spin down and shield up yeah gonna hold on to that energy expecting them to bring back the empoleon so what we're gonna do is go for fire punch Get a shield, and I don't think they're going to be obligated to shield twice once they see that the threat is, you know, fire punch, right? So we go for Thunderbolt, folks. Can we land it? Thunderbolt community today move. Finally able to use it, and it is successfully hitting. Let's watch that again. Bam. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the Hisuian Quillfish. Magmortar stealing the spotlight from this thing here. And we're going up against a Tangrowth, which is going to be weak to poison. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to be poison and dark. I keep thinking we're poison and water, like the original one here. So they're shielding it up. We do have Aqua Tail and Shadow Ball. This thing has amazing moves. This is just what I'm going to be going with here. And we're taking out the Tangrowth with the Aqua Tail. On to the next battle, we're going to be met with another Empoleon. I'm telling you with these Pokemon in the back here. So let's have a little fun. I think we're going to maybe want to shield up this Hydro Cannon. It does do a decent amount of damage. We can take it, plus take them out. But yeah, it looks like we do let it go anyways. Getting to the Body Slam, which is not very effective. Can we get a shield from them? And they let it go. And we take them out. We have like 2 HP, which is perfect. So they can't farm us up. Bringing in Lucario. We're going to bring in Magmortar, and they immediately swap. They got a Hisuian Electrode, and we do have our Hisuian Quillfish to go up against it, and this is just amazing. Well, here is a real Hisuian battle going down here, not just a Sinnoh Cub, right? So we're going to go ahead and Poison Jab all the way down. Shadow Ball will be effective to it. Water is neutral as well. It's Lucario. It can't take a hit. Poison is going to be resisted by that steel. So we're just going to go for a double Aqua Tail. And I think they're going to be able to counter us down here. But we got a Magmortar with two shields. And I will shield up whatever they throw at me. I do not care. And it made me kind of happy because I did have to power this up. I did spend about uh, around 100,000 because of that secondary move on. These are not cheap. And we take the win with the Fire Punch. It does recommend Low Kick. It had some wins, but I was like, there's no way. I'm using it for its fire. And then also Cross Chop is actually going to pretty decent but i wanted to keep that community move another empoleon let's go gastrodom in the lead here shielding up the hydro cannon this time looks like we want to go for the farm down here great and you can go with earth power i go with water pulse in case we run into what do you know the drift blim so we're actually able to do some damage swapping into our magmortar and they have a toxic crook in the back which is going to be able to hit us with super effective mud bomb but the counters are going to be really adding up magmortar in go battle league isn't really great you know it's so weird because they got all these they need to update their go battle league background image because all those Sinnoh pokemon a couple of them are okay but it's like not really common to see those too often anyways we're going to go ahead and farm down that toxic growth drift Blim is going to go ahead and farm us down and i'm thinking yeah that's not great at all and again, I'm forgetting that we're dark type, but Icy One is going to start really adding up here. We're going to go ahead and let that go just to hold on to the shield for now. But I do think it is time to start shielding up and we let it go, knowing we can still resist that ghost with our dark 
going for another aqua tail definitely not going to be trying to go for no shadow ball here massively lowered our attack is this quillfish going to be able to take it on we're holding on to the shield to the very end literally here and i'm thinking come on this is probably not going to do it three times debuffed attack and they survive we get off a couple more poison jabs and we take the win with our hasuian quillfish and there was your kind of a little bit of a nice showcase there at the end that was pretty good up against a frost last for our next battle here with the Gastrodom, so they're going to be resisting the body slam because of their ghost typing, so we're going to have to go for the Water Pulse if we want to do any sort of damage, or we can kind of bait, and then if we get a shield, they're not going to more than likely shield up the next one because they know you're going to go for a body slam, and you're not getting to no Water Pulse or Earth Power that quickly, so they let it go, and we immediately swap because I don't want them to start farming up. That was kind of a bad move. Magmortar can't take a hit. Look, look at me. It's not its fault. It just doesn't belong here. So we have an over freaking quill. That's awesome. So you do have to actually have it equipped as a buddy and complete seven raids, which is <laughs> kind of funny. I do enjoy how you have to do different things to evolve certain Pokemon, but the raids, okay, okay, I get it. All right. So we're up against our, it's like the big brother over here. Unfortunately, we're not in a great position. We're taking out big brother. In comes Toxicroak, and we're going to go for an Aqua Tail. Just trying to put up a bit of a fight, or I'm just trying to get their last shield. and like, yeah, got it. Back out. <laughs> okay, next battle. Let's go. What are we going to see? A Garchomp. Is it going to have Dragon Tail? Yep, 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 sure is. So I'm going to go ahead and assume they're going to go for the Sand Tomb, which is not going to do much. And that's not the point. The point is to lower the defense and do even more with the Dragon Tail and basically just farm it down here. So we're going to go for the Body Slam, and we are the Great League. So Garchomp can't really take a hit like it does in the Master League, right? And we're getting to another Body Slam here. Do they want to double shield that Garchomp? If they do, that's going to be okay. we got two Pokemon in the back that are going to really not want to go up against it too much. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Magmortar. And farm down, I think they swap after this, if I do recall this correctly. Knowing they're going to go for a Sand Tomb, we let it go. And they swap into a Lucario to catch a Fire Punch right to the face. And at almost one shot, we take it down with one more Fire Punch. Expecting the Garchomp to come back into this battle. Hit me with the Dragon Tail. Looks like I'm trying to immediately swap. The Hasuian Quillfish taking out Garchomp. And we have a Shadow Glade in the back. Hasuian Quillfish is making them back out. We take the win and that's going to be it. Thank you for watching and take care.